On May 1, 2019, Emperor Naruhito ascended the throne in Japan, marking the official beginning of the Reiwa era. At the same time, Japan welcomed a new empress, Mosoko Iwada. Harvard and Oxford educated, a female diplomat fluent in multiple languages, pursued by the crown prince for seven years, battling depression and suitability disorders, these are all labels associated with Mosoko. From a top-tier school's outstanding student to a promising diplomat, and then to a depressed crown princess, what has happened in the life of Mosoko Iwada over the years? In this video, I will introduce the life story of the prisoner of the chrysanthemum throne, Mosoko Iwada. Mosoko Iwada's life before entering the Japanese royal family can be described as splendid and outstanding. She was born on December 9, 1963, into an elite family in Tokyo. She is the eldest daughter of the senior diplomat Hisoshi Iwada and Yumiko Igashira. Additionally, she has two younger sisters. Due to her parents' professions, Mosoko followed her parents abroad from a young age. At the age of two, she moved to Moscow with her parents and attended a Russian kindergarten there. At the age of five, she moved with her whole family to New York City and attended a local school. In 1971, Mosoko returned to Japan with her family and enrolled in a private Roman Catholic girls' school in Tokyo. It was here that she learned to play the piano and tennis, and developed a strong interest in animals. She took care of several animals after school and decided to become a veterinarian. In addition to mastering Japanese, Russian, and English, Mosoko also learned her fourth and fifth languages, French and German. In 1979, Mosoko, a sophomore in high school, moved to the United States with her family and settled in Belmont, a suburb of Boston, Massachusetts. At that time, her father was serving as a visiting professor of international law at the Weatherhead Center for International Affairs at Harvard University. After Mosoko graduated from Belmont High School in 1981, her father was assigned to work in Moscow. However, Mosoko chose to stay in Boston to continue her education. She later attended Harvard University and served as the president of the school's Japanese Association. In March 1985, Mosoko graduated from Harvard University with a bachelor's degree in economics, achieving excellent grades. After graduation, Mosoko returned to Japan to start her professional career. After six months of studying law at the University of Tokyo, Mosoko took the diplomatic service examination for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan. In the end, out of 800 applicants, only 28 passed. Among these 28, only three were women, and Mosoko was one of them. Afterward, she was assigned to the 2nd International Organization's Division of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan, which is responsible for handling Japan's relations with international organizations. Colleagues unanimously praised Mosoko for her outstanding performance, and her linguistic talents were fully utilized here. In her free time at work, Mosoko also took cooking classes, aiming to be able to cook authentic Japanese cuisine when entertaining foreign guests. There is no doubt that Mosoko has become a rising star in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In October 1986, a concert was held at the Imperial Palace in Japan to welcome Infanta Elena of Spain. At the time, 23-year-old Mosoko was also invited to attend. During the concert, Mosoko met Naruhito, who would soon become the Crown Prince of Japan. Mosoko's confident beauty and graceful conversation immediately captivated Naruhito, and he fell in love with her at first sight. Shortly after this concert, Naruhito and Mosoko met again at a reception hosted by the Japan UK Society. This meeting was prearranged by Naruhito. The two of them had an intimate conversation once again at the reception. On the day before New Year's Eve in 1987, Naruhito took the initiative once more and asked his father, Okihito, who was still the crown prince at the time, to invite the Awada family to the Imperial Palace as guests. At that time, it was unprecedented for a commoner's family to be invited to the Imperial Palace. Naruhito exerted all his effort to win Mosoko's heart. From the moment Naruhito and Mosoko first met, the Imperial Household Agency immediately began their investigation into Mosoko. However, after a thorough inquiry, they added the comment not suitable next to Mosoko Iwada's name. 
The Imperial Household Agency has almost stringent criteria for selecting the Crown Prince's consort. For instance, she must be younger than the Crown Prince, not taller than him, free from any congenital defects or illnesses, and of pure Japanese ethnicity, among other requirements. Mosoko Awada stands at 1.64 meters tall, slightly taller than Naruhito. Based on this, she already does not meet the requirements for the Crown Princess. In addition, Mosoko has spent extended periods living abroad, which the Imperial Household Agency deems as her not being sufficiently localized and not submissive enough. She has her own opinions and is not easily managed. In addition to this, an investigation by the Imperial Household Agency revealed that Mosoko's maternal grandfather, Yutaka Egashira, was once involved in the notorious Minamata disease incident that caused a sensation at the time. All these circumstances seem to indicate that Mosoko is not a suitable candidate for the crown princess. However, it seems that Naruhito has inherited his father Okihito's devotion. In his heart, there is only one person, Mosoko. Despite opposition from the Imperial Household Agency, he frequently arranges meetings with Mosoko and introduces his friends to her. They laugh and talk together, discussing interests such as baseball and mountain climbing. One day, Naruhito mustered up the courage to propose to Mosoko. However, what he didn't expect was Mosoko's response, can I refuse you? At that time, Mosoko was selected by the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology of Japan to go abroad for a two-year fully funded graduate study. This conveniently allowed her to avoid the pursuit of Naruhito. In the end, Mosoko chose to study international relations at Balliol College, University of Oxford. After Mosoko went abroad, the Japanese Imperial Household Agency began to search for another candidate for Crown Prince Naruhito. Without exception, these candidates all have a background in the royal family or nobility. Sometimes, Naruhito would symbolically participate in these carefully arranged matchmaking events, but they all ended without success. When officials asked Naruhito where the problem lay, he replied, I know Mosoko is still single. Two years later, Mosoko returned to Tokyo from the UK and entered one of the most important departments of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Second North America Division, responsible for Japan-US economic and trade negotiations. Due to her outstanding language skills, she was often called upon to serve as a translator. She took meeting minutes and provided translations for former Prime Minister Yasuhiro Nokasoni and others. Additionally, she participated in high-level trade talks between Minister of Foreign Affairs Michio Watanabe and the US Special Trade Representative. In 1992, Crown Prince Naruhito was 32 years old, making him the oldest unmarried Crown Prince in Japanese history. The Emperor and Empress had almost begun to despair of finding a daughter-in-law and ensuring the continuation of the Imperial family. Meanwhile, Naruhito continued to wait for his beloved to change her mind. At this time, his father, Emperor Okihito, began to worry. He believed it was necessary to intervene and assist Naruhito in persuading Mosoko Iwada. With the personal approval of Emperor Okihito, the Imperial Household Agency no longer opposed Mosoko marrying into the royal family. However, to convince Mosoko, they first had to win over Mosoko's father, Hisoshi Iwada. Throughout, Hisoshi Iwada had also been against the idea of his ambitious daughter sacrificing a promising career for marriage. It was also due to his repeated insistence that Mosoko went to study at Oxford University back then. It is said that the Imperial Household Agency sent a senior official who was also working in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to personally have a conversation with Hisoshi Iwada. After this conversation, he no longer opposed the marriage between Mosoko and Naruhito. On August 16, 1992, after enduring five years of lovesickness, Naruhito finally met Mosoko again. They had a secret meeting at the home of Kensuke Yanagiya for four hours, but it was evident that Mosoko was still not convinced. She was well aware. Marrying into the royal family meant she would have to give up a promising diplomatic career and would be severely restricted in her independence and freedom. Six weeks later, they met again. The two of them strolled along the lakeside. Naruhito gathered his courage once more and proposed to Mosoko. However, Mosoko's response was still to ask for more time to answer. But could the answer possibly be no? 
On December 12, 1992, Mosoko went to the Crown Prince's palace, bowed deeply to Naruhito, and gave him the answer he had always wanted to hear. She said, if I can be your support, I will humbly accept. Naruhito, in turn, assured her, in this lifetime, I will exert all my strength to protect you through any difficulties. On June 9, 1993, the grand wedding of Crown Prince Naruhito and Mosoko Awada took place in Japan. Mosoko wore a traditional Japanese gown called Junihito, which is made up of 12 layers of silk. Naruhito, on the other hand, donned a specially made Shinto robe, and they had an official ceremony in a temple in secret. As they walked out of the temple together, they had become husband and wife. After the official ceremony, the crown prince and princess changed into more modern wedding attire and rode in an open-top car to receive the blessings of the Japanese people. From this moment on, the diplomat Mosoko Awada no longer existed, and she officially became the crown princess of Japan. She also became the third commoner to marry into the imperial family, following in the footsteps of her mother-in-law, Empress Michiko, and her sister-in-law, Princess Kiko.